In this video we are going to learn about the zeroth law of thermodynamics. The name zeroth law, you know there are actually first laws and second laws. The, there exists in thermodynamics, first law of thermodynamics and the second law of thermodynamics. But this name zeroth law is because this law was uh, uh, worded, this law was written down, was uh, uh, you know, formulated long after, years after the first two laws were already in existence. Therefore, it is called the zeroth law of thermodynamics. So, to begin with it, we will give the, uh, the statement of the law at last. But now let's begin with the explanation. I think uh, we should first give the statement. I'll just say it now. The two systems in a thermo, two systems in thermal equilibrium with a third system separately are in thermal equilibrium with each other. So for that, let's first say, and there is A. B and then there is C on this side. So this is C and thing is that this wall is non conducting. This wall is non conducting. So basically, they cannot, you know, exchange heat or anything. It's a non conducting wall. This is a conducting wall. So they can exchange heat and they can exchange heat. But these two can't. So according to the statement we go, after some time obviously that uh, it is obvious that after exchange of heat and everything, A and C will be in thermal equilibrium and B and C will be in thermal equilibrium. Now to further the experiment, what we do is we now have C here, this is A. And there is B. This time, this is the non conducting wall. And this is the conducting wall. What we observe here now is that these two vessels of these two A and B do not exchange heat because they already are in thermal equilibrium from here they were in thermal equilibrium with this was with C B was with C so now when this is a non conducting this is conducting now they can exchange heat but it is seen that they don't exchange heat because they are already in thermal equilibrium now, that's the way uh, it has been uh, shown and so in thermal equilibrium the physical quantity which defines which uh, implies I mean uh, the implication that the heat does not transfer anymore the implication that the heat of that the heat does not transfer anymore is that the temperature is equal if there is a hot body and there is a cold body obviously heat will transfer from hot to the cold body that is the way it happens now as we see that here heat does not transfer the implication is that temperature of A equals to temperature of B that is what the implication is of this part and of this part what we hear from we see from here is that T A equals to T C from this and T B equals to T C from this. 
which implies that from here TA equals to TB it is a very common sense thing but it is there the theory of the law of thermodynamics and this brings us to the conclusion that there, if two vessels are in thermal equilibrium then the temperatures are equal it implies that the temperatures are equal thank you